what's up guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be on this gorgeous monochromatic orange look starting off with primer because that's nothing new here we want to make sure that we get a smooth base on the skin to prep for the foundation application I'm going to apply some concealer to any dark areas that I want to brighten my favorite way to blend out concealer is by using my trusty beauty blender it's guaranteed to make your application flawless now using my remarkable foundation I'm going to dot this foundation on the areas that I want more coverage and blend that out with a kabuki brush. This foundation is really full coverage so a little bit goes a long way. Went ahead and did my brows off camera just because you've seen me do that so many times before. Now going in with a loose powder, I'm just going to set underneath my eyes with a beauty blender and then using a bigger fluffy brush to set the rest of my face. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm using Eve by Eve's new eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this really pretty caramel shade. We are going to give the crease area a nice wash of this color. As you can see, I'm not taking this too high up to the brow area. This color is going to help the rest of the eyeshadows blend really nicely. Next, I'm going into a more true orange shade and using a more tapered brush, I'm going to add this into the outer corners of the eyes, slowly dragging that up to the crease area. Now taking Red Brick from MAC, which is like a burnt orange shade, I'm going to layer this right on top of that orange color we just applied. This is just going to really give you that ombre effect. Going from a more darker orange, fading into a light orange color. It looks really beautiful once the look is completed. Then going back into that Eve by Eve's palette, I'm going to dip into this chocolate brown color. And we are going to apply this right to the outer V of the eyes. This is going to bring that drama and dimension into your look. After that, I'm going to take that caramel shade from the palette and blend the edges out even more. Going in with a brown eyeliner, I'm going to pop this into the bottom lash line area. Then with that brown eyeshadow from the Eve by Eve's palette, I'm just going to buff that into the bottom lash line, smudging out that brown eyeliner. This is going to give you that super sultry look. I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes using this really pretty champagne color. It's time to line my eyes and I'm going in with Eve by Eve's black gel eyeliner. This gel eyeliner is simply amazing because it's so pigmented and allows effortless and precise application. Also, it has brightening ingredients for healthier lash lines and it's completely smudge proof which is a huge plus for me. So I'm just creating little strokes until I have the desired wing liner. And of course I'm going to pop on some velour lashes. And the style I went with for today is Doll Me Up. Go ahead and give your lashes a good curl and then pop those lashes right on. Since I showed my top lashes some love already, I want to make sure my bottom lashes are on point as well. So I'm using the Eve by Eve's Drama Luxe Conditioning Gel Mascara. This is a duo ended mascara, so you want to take the primer side first and give your bottom lashes a good coat. This contains smooth coat polymer to thicken your lashes and allow the mascara to be layered on effortlessly and clump free. While that dries, I'm going to take the conditioning mascara and apply just a tiny bit to the top lashes just to blend the fake and real lashes together. Moving back to the bottom lashes, I'm going to add a light coat of this mascara right on top of the primer. And this mascara is really cool because it's formulated with little fibers, which you can actually see if you look at the wand of your mascara. You can see little tiny pieces of thin hairs. It kind of looks like little cotton ball strings of hairs, if you know what I mean. And it sticks to your lashes, which gives them more length. So this mascara is really nice if you have short stubby lashes like me it really helped extend my bottom lashes even more all right now that the eyes are completed we are moving back to the face I'm just taking a few shades darker of a foundation powder to warm up my face a bit so I just like to pop this in the hollows of my cheeks my temples and my jawline then going in with an actual bronzer, I'm using Laguna from NARS. And with a more precise contour brush, I'm just going to add this right on top of that darker powder we just applied. And this is going to give your face more dimension rather than just using one powder. For blush, I'm using this gorgeous coral shade and I'm going to place this onto my cheeks and blend it backwards towards the bronzer. I'm using this gold highlight called So Hollywood and really just taking a tad bit onto the high points of my cheekbones. 
Okay, and now for lips. I'm using Eve by Eve's Blood Orange Lip Definer. Their liners are really pigmented and conditioning, so I'm just quickly lining the outer rim of my lips and leaving the center clean for the lipstick that we are going to apply. I'm filling in the rest of my lips with this burnt orange liquid lipstick and this color really brings out the whole monochromatic orange look we are going for and it's perfect for fall. And that completes this entire look. I have been wearing this look non-stop and I feel like for the most part it's quite wearable even though we are playing with color. I hope you guys give this look a try and if you do, please be sure to tag me on my Instagram which is now Sophia Chang. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would mean so much to me. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Love you. Bye.